Is that a caution? Yes, caution is out, but nice. Nope, not a save. Oh my goodness. Hello everybody and welcome to race number 20 of the 2007 Piston Cup Series. Today we are here at Pocono Raceway. I can't remember what the race is called. Whoops. Anyways, this is race number 20. We're going 40 laps here. Floyd Moby Hill is on the pole. Followed by Chick Higgs, Darren Leadfoot, Tommy Highbanks, Clint Bocar, Jeff Gorvet, Hall and Gaz Kabruski, Carx Jr., Throttle Man, and the rest of the field. Anyways, guys, if you like the Piston Cup series, make sure that you subscribe if you're new. Ring that bell so you don't miss any more. And smash the like button. Also, as of right now, I have a sign-up series going on if you want to sign up for a car for the 1950 NASCAR Cup Series. You can go ahead and click that video. I'll try to have a card up here somewhere. But uh, yeah, here's the rest of the qualifying order. And on the right side, we will throw up some point standings. Lightning McQueen is your points leader by 164, followed by Chig Higgs. Kevin Racing Tire is third in points. Kyle Weathers fourth in points. And rounding out the top five, Ralph Carlisle. As we go look at the people in the back, Dylan R. Jr. struggling this season as he is last place in points. Practice. Ernie Gearson. Brush Kerber and Michael Cartrip were your fastest. Happy hour, we got Chick Hicks, Carx Jr. and Billy Oil Changer. Billy Oil Changer has won three races this season. He's been very inconsistent, but he's been doing pretty good. And I believe he run, won the last race that Lightning McQueen dominated. Speaking of Lightning McQueen, he qualified last place. Holy cow, I didn't even realize that. Pace car's off. We're going green flag racing. 40 laps to go. Green flag is out for Floyd Mobile. Is Chick going to be able to win his first race this season? Chick Hicks has not won a race yet. We're already past halfway this season, and Chick has not won a race. Darren Leadfoot. Oh, Chick slides up high. He's probably not going to win today. Oh, contact made between Tommy Highbanks and Chick Hicks. We're already three wide. That's dangerous. Looks like they made it through that corner. Darren Leadfoot's going for the lead. Clint Bocar's going for to try to follow him here as we are three wide going in the track. Ooh, contact in the wall. JJ Traley gets taken out. He's going to come back. Is he going to be safe? Don't barrel roll the field. Holy cow, he flew right back up the field. That was dangerous. Luckily, Mac Icar knows how to put on the brakes. They could have died. We actually somehow made it safely the first lap. One lap complete, 39 to go. Darren Leadfoot leads a lap. That's five bonus points for him. Holy cow, guys, that was crazy. Darren Leadfoot's going to continue to lead this race. Ricky Yardley on his way up. He's a rookie. Wow. And new battle for lead. Hall Ingas going for it. Hall Ingas now going for the lead. Like I said, Brick Yardley's on his way up here. Three wide behind him. We have some contact in the wall, but so far everybody saved it. The oil changer's struggling today. Holy cow. Who do you guys think is going to win? Let me know in the comments below. Oh! Is that a caution? Yes, caution is out, but nice. Nope, not a save. Oh, my goodness. Ernie Gearson gets spun in front of the field. Cloud Scruggs got spun in front of the field, then had to save it. We'll take a look at the replay. Look at this. Cloud Scruggs. Goes down on J.J. Traley, and then he tries to save it, but he gets loose and starts playing a little bit of pinball there, bouncing off everybody, and that causes a caution. He does get going again, though. I mean, it could have been way worse. Your points leader, Lightning McQueen, was slow enough to get by without running in anybody. Take one more look at that. We're on board with Cloud Scruggs. Oh! 
Traley came up on him, but it's because Mac Icar ran into Traley. Look at this. Oh my gosh. He tried so hard. He got so far, but in the end, it didn't even matter. Here we go for pit stops. Everybody is pitting. I think I've seen somebody stay out, though. Anyway, everybody's pitting except for one car, I think. But I. Two cars. Misty Motocross and Todd Marcus stay out. That's going to give Todd Marcus five bonus points for leading a lap. Haul in gas was in first. Looks like they're already taking tires. Everybody that pit is taking right side tires already. Wow. And it looks like that's it. Brick Yardley had a pretty fast pit stop. So did Hall in gas. In gas is out first and the rest of the field. Holy cow. Chick struggling to exit. I think he lost a lot of ground. Pace cars off. We're going green this time. Bye. We'll see how good those new tires are. Green flag is out for Todd and Marcus. So Todd Marcus might have made a good decision by not pitting. Passed a lot of cars. Now he's got to see if his old tires can hold them off. They should only have advantage for the first lap or two. Misty Motocross goes for the lead. Motocross also stayed out. But the thing is, everybody has to at least pit one more time for fuel. They can't make it to the end of the race. So the guys that stayed out may have an advantage. As of right now, it doesn't look like it hurt them. That they didn't pit. But here comes Brick Yardley. Ralph Carlisle is finally up here. Holy cow. He has been good this season and then started struggling out of nowhere. He was looking to be a, a possible champion contender. He's still, I think, in the top five in points. But he's a race behind Lightning McQueen. So he's got a little bit of work to do still. But... Not too bad, not too bad. Todd Marcus goes back for the lead as he let Misty Motocross lead a lap. Now he gets a big push from Brick Yardley. Brick Yardley pushes him so hard he almost slid up into Misty Motocross. There, Yardley is now your leader. Holy cow, Yardley pushed him hard going into that. Dang. Ralph Carlisle trying to make a move. It ain't gonna happen here. Got Throttle Man rounding out your top five. We have two rookies in the top five right now. Eugene Kurbrewski looks like he's getting freight trained to the back if he can't get down. We got a second pack of cars. Chick was in the front. He's back to 20th. Still falling back right now. Lightning McQueen's still struggling in the back. Holy cow. Cal Weathers, another guy up there in points. Also struggling. Jack the Post. He's doing decent this season. Winning Rookie of the Year right now. Leading Rookie of the Year. He's, looks like he's in 20th. Todd Marcus going back for the lead, but I don't think he's got a shot on it. It looks like the... 24 Brick Yardley's pretty fast today. Ponchi Wipeout has the fastest lap by a long shot. And he's on his way up. Three wide in the front. Ralph Carlisle gets in the wall, but he comes back down safely. Ponchi Wipeout was 15th. He's now in the top 10. He is fast. He's on his way up. Holy cow. Somehow, J.J. Traley's in the top 10 after, like, almost crashing twice. Holy cow. We've completed 10, well, 9 laps so far, so... Oh, man. Whew. I just woke up, guys, and it's early in the morning because I wanted to get this stuff out for you early today. And holy cow, guys, there's 31 laps to go. Yardley and Throttle Man are trying to break away from the pack. Darren Ledfoot's trying to make his way back up to the front. He did lead a lap earlier, I believe. That's not bad. Misty Motocross trying to get by Darren Ledfoot. She's going to sit there right behind him. Whew. It's been a decent race so far. I'm not sure who is going to win this race, but... Since Ponchi Wipeout has the fastest lap and he's on his way up, I think that's who I might go for to win it today because he's now um, 
fifth place. Trying to take fourth away from Misty Motocross. Has a big push from Martin Cox Jr. here. But doesn't slide up too high like everybody else. It doesn't matter because Cox Jr. is trying the inside anyways. But I think Wipeout's got enough of a run that he can hold off. Yes. Dud Throttle Man is looking to try to take the lead. We got rookies battling for the lead right now. Oh my gosh. Todd Marcus came down. That was scary. I think Throttle Man's going to take it in one more lap. And what that's going to do is slow each other down. And that backpack is going to catch back up. Punchy Wipeout's going for third. Holy cow, he is fast. I don't know where he came from today, but I'm pretty sure he might be a hard charger, too. Dud Throttle Man goes for the lead. Now, Dud Throttle Man has also struggled this season pretty bad. I'm not sure how well he's doing this season. 30th in points, but he does have a win somehow. He's trying to make that win number two today. And like I said, because he... W oh, caution is out. We're racing to the yellow. Oh, it was a big one because Vanderspin and Ike are out. We're going to have to see what happened. Punchy Wipeout's now in second place. I believe everybody's going to pit after this one since almost everybody pit last time after four laps. And Dud Throttle Man is going to lead him to the caution, followed by I have no idea who... Ponchi Wipeout, Brick Yardley, Martin Cox Jr., and Brush Kerber. Let's take a look at the replay. Here we are. Four wide. Does it work? Ooh. I think both of them are done. Both of them are out of the race. Scruggs wanted to be involved every gosh on today, so he slams into it. Mac Icar, Sage Vander Spinner out. We'll take one more look at that. Look at this nonsense. I'm not even sure whose fault that is. I think... I can't tell. Jeez. They almost crashed dodging it. Look at Kevin Schiff right in the grass. We are in a helicopter view just to see who we can blame this on. Oh! Wow! That contact was almost even and then... Mac Icar came down on Sage Vanderspin. I don't know what's going on. Ooh! Man. Here we are coming to pit stops. Floyd Moby Hill is the only car to stay out this time. Holy cow, this is going to be a crazy one once again. Dud Throttleman leads him into the pits. Can he have a fast pit stop? Lightning McQueen likes races where, uh, where pit stops matter because he does have a fast pit crew. Brick Yardley has contact in the pits. Getting to his box. And what that means... Oh, jeez. Is that just ruined his chances of winning this race? Because he's now stuck in the pits. I think he's going to have to get towed. Oh, my gosh. Brick Yardley went from leading it to who knows how far back. And Death Throttle Man was not the fastest outright, and Shields was first. Let's go to the green flag. Pace cars off. Floyd Mobile leads them off. Sage Vanderspin and Mike, M Mike, Mac Icar are out of the race. Green flag is out. I believe Ryan Shields took another pit stop, so I don't know if they missed a lug nut or something on his pit stop, but that might be why he was fast out of the pits. Mobile, the only guy, he's got about eight laps of uh, worse tires, which in this universe is about 16 laps of worst tires, but he got a really good jump on the start, so. Wow. I don't know, he jumped that, start that well. Lightning McQueen has the fastest lap now. Tommy Ibanks trying to get by Poncho Wipeout here. Wipeout looked like he was faster earlier. McQueen, even though he's fast, he's back in 30th. It's not good. Wow. Floyd Movie Hill is going to continue to lead. Wow, I thought he'd have a disadvantage. I think those guys took 
four tires, I would assume, but I'm not quite sure how many tires I took. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy watching Yardley get manhandled in the pits. Looks like Dud Throttle Man might be the only guy to compete with now. Because he's trying to get by Floyd Moville here. Three wide for third place. Brush Kerber's trying to make a move. Brush Kerber has had one interesting uh, season, and that's for sure. But holy cow. Looks like he's trying to make a move on the 54 of Tommy Highbanks here for third. They've been three wide for a while. Highbanks goes back. He gets sandwiched, basically. Floyd Mobile is still leading. Holy cow. I have no idea what's going on here. I'm trying to see how good Bruce Kerber's doing this season, but he's not doing good. I thought he was. Dud Throttle Man looking. I don't know how they got so far away. Throttle Man goes for the lead, but that's going to allow this backpack to catch up a bit because they're not drafting. And he didn't even have enough speed to pass him. So all that did is slow him down for no reason. Yes. He's probably going to attempt another pass in a turn or so. Darren Lightfoot's now in third place. Misty Motocross made her way back up here, but here's Martin Karch Jr. He'll be trying to take fourth place away. Dang. Martin Carr X Jr. Punch your wipe out. Clint Bill Carr as we go through the field. I think, guys, I think you know what time it is. Time to crank it up. I think that Throttle Man is now your leader. But Floyd Moby Hill's trying to pass it back. Throttle Man was able to lead another lap there. Darren Ledfoot is caught up to these leaders. We've had a weird, interesting little spread out of stuff here. We're halfway home, by the way. Cal Weathers has made his way into the top 15. He's on his way up now, trying to get to the top, 20, or top 10. <laughs> Not a bad day for him now, so far as he did not qualify very well. Chick's still struggling, Lightning McQueen's still pretty far in the back. This is going to be a good point stay for Kyle Weathers if it were to finish like this. Do we have another car out of the race? Ryan Shield's tire is broken, that's why he pit. He's out of the race. Oh, that sucks, he was running like fourth right before that, that restart. Throttleman goes back for the lead. Did Floyd Mulvey Hill pit? Yes, he did. Mulvey Hill's going to attempt to only make one pit stop under green. I mean, everybody is, but one less pit stop than most of the field. I don't know how well that's going to do him because he's not going to have any draft. But he'll have fresh tires for a longer distance, I guess. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to do anything good. All I know is Martin Cargs Jr. is trying to take second place away from Brush Kerber, and I think he done so. Dud Throttle Man is looking fast today. Your fastest lap is still held by Lightning McQueen, who's slowly made his way up. Cal Weathers is now in ninth place. Lightning McQueen's up to the top 20. 
Oh man, if he gets a top 10, he's probably going to extend his points lead more, and I think people are tired of him just taking off this season. But it makes sense. He's slowly getting better and better as he's been better and better. <laughs> Ooh, a little bit of contact in the wall with Misty Motocross there. Cal Weathers trying to take 8th place away from Misty Motocross. Somebody's pitting. TG Castlenut is now pitting. I don't know why. That seems a little early. Martin Cox Jr. is going for the lead. I don't know if he's led a lap today or not. Throttle Man got him loose, though, and he wasn't able to get through. Sorry, not Throttle Man. Uh, Leadfoot, but Leadfoot's trying to make a pass for a second, but I don't think he'll be able to do that either without any draft help. The only way one of them are going to get to the front is if the other one helps them, I believe. But Cards Jr. is looking. No, it ain't going to happen. Punchy Wipeout is back up to fifth. First Kerber falling back. Cal Weathers. Still flying up there as he's now taken fifth place away from Brush Kerber. Is Cal going to be able to get up to those leaders? He looks fast. Consistent wise. That puts him in sixth, not fifth. But holy cow, as we go back through the field. Where's Lightning McQueen at? Lightning McQueen actually lost some spots. So yeah, he just has not shown up today. Sometimes that's what happens. The Throttle Man's leading. Let's go through the field. The Throttle Man has definitely been the car to beat today, even though Darren Ledfoot's looking for the pass right now. And Darren Ledfoot has been strong the last about 5, 10 laps. I don't know if he's the next best car. Well, he might be second best today, but Throttle Man has definitely been first best. Oops, wrong button. As we go to Clint Bokar, Clint Bokar has been struggling this whole season. And he has a race at Los Angeles, if you guys remember, where he completely Kevin LePage the entire field and killed everybody. Uh, Poncho Wipeout had the fastest lap earlier in the race, and he's been pretty consistently up there in the top 5 and 10 since then. Cal Weathers. It's probably going to be our hard charger. He's passed a lot of cars to get up here. And yeah, Clint Bocard's going for the lead. We got some lap traffic coming soon. And who is that in the pits? Ruby Oaks is taking a pit stop. I think all these people pitting early is making mistakes. Death Rodman trying to take second place away from Darren Ledfoot. Dang, this is a long race. Holy cow. Cal Weathers trying to make a move on Dud Throttle Man. Is he going to be able to do so? That is the question. Do we have answers? Oh, cars are pitting. Tommy Highbanks, Todd Marcus, Jeff Gorvet, Holland Guess, and JJ Traley are all in the pits. I don't know what's happened to Bricky Yardley. After that contact in the pits earlier, he lost his chances. Clip Bocard, does he have a win in this series in the Piston Cup series? I don't think he does. If he does, he would have had to do it this season. And he doesn't have one this season, so I don't think Clint Bokar has a win. Can he do it today? We're past halfway, so there's a possibility. I wonder who's going to pit now. Now it looks like pit stops are starting to happen. Might be a little too early for most cars to pit, but who knows. Cal Weathers is going for the lead, or second, not sorry, not the lead. But uh, everybody is staying out so far. I don't think any of these pack leaders are choosing a pit. Neither are the rest. Cal Weathers taking second place, but Darren Ledfoot's really close to the back bumper and trying to get by. They got a lot of lap traffic ahead of them if they uh, continue to do this. Pack racing here without pity. Well, they w are actually are way off the pace compared to their fastest lap. 
Except for Cal Weathers. Cal Weathers is still pretty fast. With that being said, I believe Cal Weathers is probably going to try to do some good here. Actually, Weathers... Yeah, Weathers is pretty consistent so far. Darren Ledfoot was able to pass him, though. And he had a pretty good last lap. Once again, Weathers goes for the pass. That ain't gonna happen, though. Throttle Man's still running fifth. He led a lot, but I think he got behind these guys for draft so that he can get some... Save some fuel. He wants to pit at the right time. At the end of the race, that's when he can go for the win. People like Cal Weathers, who have been drafting the entire race, they don't have anything to worry about on fuel. The beginning of the second pack is Rutherford right now. He's had a little bit of a struggling season that involves some wrecks and all that stuff. Lightning McQueen's back in the top 20. And he was about to lose more of it, but we have a lot of cars pitting. Cal Weathers is pitting already. Holy cow. Okay. We have 11 laps to go. All the cars that have not pit do not have enough fuel to make it. So we'll see if they can. Wow, that is interesting. Cars that pit early like Floyd Mobile have lost so much ground. Slider Petrowski is the leader out of the cars that have pit already. But this whole pack, this might be the pack to beat. Holy cow. Are we in a caution? No, we're not. No way. I think everybody's just pitting, so it looks slow. Everybody else is in the pits. Anybody staying out for five bonus points? Nobody is staying out. Wow. What about Brick Yardley? <laughs> Yardley stays out, but it's because he already pit, I think. Because he was a lap down. Clint Bocar leads him off. Who's going to come out first? It looks like they're taking at least right side tires. I would assume this is going to be a four tire stop with fuel. And. No, Lightning McQueen only took two tires. So did uh, everybody else. Looks like it's only two tire stop. Slider Petrowski's in the front. He must have pit at the right time because he's on his way up. Holy cow. Cal Weathers pit at a very right time. Except for the one car of uh, Clem Boker. Wow, Slider Petrowski might have only took no tires to get that fast of a pit stop. Ten laps to go. Clint Bokar was in the lead, but I believe it is Slider Petrowski now. I don't think we're going to have anybody pitting in the last lap like last race where Lightning McQueen didn't have enough fuel. That was one crazy race, that's for sure. Clint Bokar trying to stay in front of Cal Weathers as we hit nine laps to go. Slider Petrowski has a huge lead. Who's your fastest? Lightning McQueen still holds the fastest lap. Has he been making his way up? Kind of, but not really. He's 25th. Chick has been struggling a lot today, too. Holy cow. Cal Weathers has nine laps to catch up to Slider Petrowski up there in the lead. I don't know if he's going to do so. Tommy Ibanks making some moves, trying to pass TG Castle on another one. Yeah, Moby Hill pit earlier, which means he has not as fresh of tires. That means he's going to fall back even worse. Maybe he thought like another Kasha was going to come out or something, but he stayed out. I don't know. It hasn't really hurt him, though, because he wasn't up there that far before he stayed out, I don't think. Slider is gone. He's got a 4.25 second lead. 
is Cal Weathers going to be able to catch him? Ponchi Wipeout trying to make a move on Clint Bokar here for third place. And he does so. Bokar's got a little bit of draft on that outside that might give him a slight advantage. No, it does not. Jeff Corvette's making his way up the, the field. He has not done much today. Todd Marcus has led some laps earlier because of pit strategy. And it has worked out really well for him as he's here at the end. It was 4.25. Now where we at on seconds behind the leader. 4.16. Slider Petrowski is going to win this race unless Agashi comes out. I don't know. It was because of pit strategy because he wasn't lead or anything before then. He has not done any. Is there a wreck? I thought I just heard a car spinning, but I could just be crazy. Yeah, we're still green. I think I'm just crazy. Dang, I don't know who to watch. Pauline guys trying to make a move on Todd Marcus here. Marcus slides up and gets loose, tags the wall. That's unhealthy. Jeff Gorvet trying to get on the inside of Marcus. Tommy Highbanks following suit. Phil Tankson, we have not talked about him. He's a rookie. He is just must be average all day as he's outside the top 12. They cut that lead by four tenths of a second, but they have six laps to go. That's not enough to catch up, I don't think. Here comes Ponchi Wipeout trying to take third. I don't know if he'll be able to do so without any draft help. Maybe. Looks like he will. Ponchi Wipeout takes third. Here comes Cal Weathers. Now, or not Cal Weathers. Clint Bokar trying to get by Cal Weathers. Is Lady McQueen really back there outside the top 20 again? Who's going to be your points leader after this? I think it'll still be Lightning McQueen, but the points will be a lot closer if it finishes like this. Five laps to go. They have cut the... They've actually lost time on the leader. Never mind, they have not cut the lead. They lost time on the leader. They cannot drive like that. They need to go single file if they want to catch Slider Petrowski, and they just have not been doing so. Lightning McQueen and Chick Kicks both struggling today. And third place in points coming into this race was Kevin Racing Guy. Where is he? Also struggling. Cal Weathers 193 points back. Cannot take the lead. But he can jump way up the points and probably take second place. If he stays here in the top five. I'm curious to see if Slider's taken off more or if these guys are starting to caught up or not. We have four laps to go. Oh, man. I don't know. They cut it barely. That's not enough. For sure, Slider Petrowski's gone. If a caution comes out, it will probably end the race. So there's really nothing they can do on Slider Petrowski. What is this race called? Sorry, I need to know what this race is called. This is the Tank Coat 500. Just needed to make sure. Because I forgot. Cal Weathers trying to make a move again. These three are battling for second place like crazy. Todd Marcus still able to hold on to the top 10 as he's been losing some positions. Your highest rookie is still Doug Throttle Man in fourth. Cal Weathers trying to take second place away from Ponchi Wipeout here. We got so much going on, I don't even know who to watch. Eugene Kabruski's making some moves. We have not talked about him at all. Looks like he went up one position that lap. Rutherford's still in the top 20. Lightning McQueen has passed some cars and now he's falling back again. Ruby Oaks. I have not talked about him at all today. Mm, makes sense why he's not doing too well. Mm. 
Jack DePose, the person leading rookie of the year standings, is struggling. JJ Traley was doing really good at the beginning, but he sucks now, and Chick Hicks also sucks today. Dale Earnhardt Jr., last place in points. He's going to stay there, especially with the way Clint Bocar is doing so good. Two laps to go for Slider. Did they cut the lead at all? Slightly, but not enough to do anything. Darren Ledfoot goes for fifth place. Two laps to go. This is insane, because I don't know who the heck is going to win this race. This is a really long one. Holy cow. <laughs> They ain't gonna make it. This should be a 400, not a 500. Holy cow. But who knows? 500s are interesting. Got some stamina for this one, that's for sure. Phil Tankson trying to get by the 24 of Jeff Gorvet. Once again, Punchy Wipeout trying to take a position of second place. White flag is out, sponsored by Hostile Takeover Bank for Slider Petrowski, who has a 3.4 second lead. He's been leading since the pit stops. Definitely had the best pit strategy, but I have no idea what it was. I don't know if he took four tires and just had some extra grip, or if he took no tires to get the track position. Whatever he did, it worked out for him. These guys are slightly catching, but not enough. Misty Motocross made her way into fifth. Tommy Highbanks trying to get by Phil Tanks in here. Three wide. Oh, he lost a lot of ground. Slider Petrowski comes out of the last turn. Slider Petrowski wins the Tank Coat 500. Cal Weathers will be second along with Ponchi Wipeout, Clint Bocar. Wow, that's a good finish for Clint Bocar. Doug Throttle Man fifth. Misty Motocross. Uh, Hall in gas, Darren Leadfoot. Todd Marcus and Bruce Kerber round out your top ten. And here is the rest of your results. We'll take a look at the final results and be right back. Here we are with your official results. Slider Petrowski didn't just win the race, he led the most laps. That gives him 10 bonus points instead of 5. Holy cow, Cal Weathers, not bad. Slider Petrowski also went from 37th to 1st, so he also gets a hard charger award today. Nice. Uh, Clint Bocar led 5 laps today. Throttle Man led 6 laps today. And 1 for Motocross, 2 for Ingas, 3 for Ledfoot, 3 for Marcus. Not bad. Phil Tankson is just outside the top 10 today as we go through the field. Let's see who else struggled today. 21st, Light McQueen did not make it into the top 20. Billy Oates made the 22nd, those guys struggled. Brick Yardley led 4 laps, Moby Hill led 6. He must have pit on the last at the end of the race because he fell back. He qualified first. Ends up getting 39th. He gets the headache of the day. Three cars did not finish the race as they got wrecked. Here we go to the point standings. Lightning McQueen is still ahead by over 100 over Cal Weathers. Holy cow. Dang. He did drop that lead to about 60 points. In, or I think 60 points less than it was from him. Ponchi Wipeout's up to third in points. I don't know how he's done that. Chick picks fourth. Carlisle. As we go through the field. Jack DePost looks like he is not leading Rookie of the Year anymore. Tommy Highbanks is now leading the Rookie of the Year battle in 12. I don't know how many points he's ahead of DePost. Not very many, less than 10. Five points, almost, basically. Uh, plus three, so eight points ahead of Jack DePost for Rookie of the Year. It's a close battle. We have completed 20 of the 36 races now, and Dylan R. Jr. has fallen back even farther now. Brick Yardley's struggling too, holy cow. He leads some laps and still does bad in that race. Anyway guys, the next race is the View Zine 400. I can't remember what track that is. I have a feeling it's Dover because that's the only 400 I could think of. But if it's not Dover, it would have to be something else. 
and I just can't think of any other 400, so it's probably Dover. Anyway, guys, we'll see you guys next time. Make sure you smash, smash. I always say that. Smash the like button and subscribe if you're new. Ring the bell, all that good stuff. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.